In this video, we're going to talk about the uh, reaction of aldehydes and ketones to make a very useful uh, series of functional groups. So this is a chemistry that's known as cyanohydrin formation. So, so cyanohydrin. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a carbonyl. Uh, this can be an aldehyde um, or a ketone. And we're going to react this with HCN. So hydro uh, cyanic acid okay and there's also going to be a small amount of potassium cyanide in there so just a small amount it's mostly HCN that we're using um, and this will go to give a product where cyanide has added to the carbonyl or uh, technically speaking HCN has added across the um, the carbonyl okay so this works um, with as I said aldehydes aldehydes um, uh, or ketones um, as long as they're not too hindered. So unhindered ketones will work as well. Okay, Both of those are, are okay. So what is the mechanism? Well, it's, it's very straightforward. Um, so what we're going to do here is um, a, it's a very straightforward um, addition of, of cyanide. So cyanide is uh, carbon nitrogen triple bond and there's a an anion at the carbon then so this is just a simple anion um, and this is just simply going to do a nucleophilic attack um, at the carbonyl all right and once we do that we get to uh, this this tetrahedral intermediate all right and then the final thing to do is to just protonate so add and protonate right we've seen this before and what we're going to do here is to actually grab the proton off of a mo molecule of HCN. So we're going to do that. And there is our cyanohydrin here. Okay. And then if you notice, what we just did is we regenerated cyanide. So that's why these conditions are, are what they are. So you need HCN, and you, so you need a stoichi stoichiometric amount of HCN, and then you need a catalytic amount of deprotonated cyanide. So, so potassium cyanide or sodium cyanide would work as well. And the reason is you just need a tiny bit of free uh, cyano, uh, sorry, cyanide to get this started. So that can be the nucleophile. But then you're going to, to uh, grab the proton off another molecule of HCN. And so that allows you to, to uh, regenerate the cyanide and, and then keep going. So it's catalytic in cyanide. Okay, well, why is this useful? It turns out that these products, these cyanohydrin products, um, have a number of different uses. Uh, and these, these uh, let us start to get into some, some complexity. So overall, we're going to take an aldehyde. We're going to do this um, cyanohydrin formation. So HCN and KCN. Um, that gets us to our cyanohydrin. And now... Uh, this is all just, just straightforward chemistry of nitriles, um, which we'll talk about in detail in the next section. Um, but for now, we can use this as a tool. So if we, um, if we uh, treat this with um, some acidic water, so we cook it up in, in uh, aqueous acid, um, we'll actually convert the, the cyano group into a carboxylic acid. So what we will then have is an alpha hydroxy acid okay so carboxylic acid and next to it is an alcohol right we can also reduce a nitrile so we can treat a nitrile with dibol and then this is going to be an acidic workup right we talked about why why you need an acidic workup um, and if you do that you uh, we will uh, actually uh, partially reduce the nitrile and this will then lead to an alpha hydroxy aldehyde we'll talk about why that stops and, and goes to this product for, for now we're just going to um, look at the transformation um, and then finally we can we can bring out the big guns uh, we can reduce a nitrile with lithium aluminum hydride and this will actually reduce the nitrile all the way down to the amine, so we get to a hydroxy amine, so uh, an alcohol and an amine uh, right next to each other. So you know, there's there's a sort of um, two functionalities in each of these molecules, um, and that's why um, putting a nitrile 
um, and an alcohol on the same carbon um, gives you uh, access to all of these different uh, functionality. So cyanohydrin formation gets us a lot of bang for the buck, really. Okay, there's a related reaction that we want to talk about really quickly, and this is known as the Strecker amino acid synthesis. Okay, so amino acids, of course, are extremely important, um, primarily for peptide uh, formation or, or protein synthesis, um, but they also have many other uses um, in organic chemistry or in pharmaceuticals, um, and uh, Oftentimes you would like to have access to amino acids that you can't derive from nature. You'd like to have synthetic amino acids for, for whatever reason. And the Strecker amino acid synthesis gives you access to those pretty nicely. So what we're gonna do in this case, um, this is very closely related to um, the cyanohydrin formation. Um, but what we're gonna do in this case, we're gonna have our cyanide source, so KCN will work. Um, and then we're gonna have um, uh, an, an amine or an ammonium salt, so in this case ammonium chloride, um, strictly for, for the amino acid synthesis. Um, and this will actually convert us to a product that looks uh, a heck of a lot like um, the cyanohydrin, except in this case, instead of a hydroxy, we have an amine. Okay? And what we can then uh, do to this product is that same hydrolysis that we, that we just talked about, that hydrolyzes the nitrile to a carboxylic acid. Oops, sorry. Okay. There's our carboxylic acid, and <clears throat> there we go. We have an amino acid, an amine right next to a carboxylic acid. Okay, so this is the form that all of the amino acids take. Um, and this is very useful then, uh, that, that we can take an aldehyde, or in fact, it also works with ketones also works with ketones, and we can then convert those into amino acids. Okay? Um, and then incidentally, we don't only have to use ammonium here, or, or just a unsubstituted nitrogen. Um, we can also use uh, primary or secondary amines. Right? So we can have uh, substituents, which means that we can have you know, substituents coming off the nitrogen, we can also have another substituent here. And so we can kind of build up a lot of uh, sort of complex amino acids that you wouldn't find in nature. Okay, what is the mechanism of this one? Uh, very, very related uh, to, to what you already know. So in the first case, what we're going to do is uh, to, to form a aluminium ion. So here is our ammonium, ammonium chloride, okay? So we're first going to pick up a proton on the carbonyl. Uh, this is all just, just very standard aminium ion formation. So there's my oxycarbenium. And then I'm going to, now I've just generated ammonium from de, that deprotonation. So I'm going to have um, NH3 add. Okay? And then, of course, I get to my tetrahedral intermediate here. And that is positively charged on the nitrogen. So then I need to come in with some base, deprotonate to make it neutral. Okay. And now I just need to keep going just as we've seen before. So here I'm going to grab another proton and I'm just going to draw it as H plus, but of course it's going to be um, from ammonium, okay? And when I do that, I will generate my H2O plus. Okay, and so of course now, once we're at this point, we want to have this group leave as a neutral species, and we're going to use the lone pair from the nitrogen to help it do that. So when that happens, we are now in business because we have just generated our aminium ion. Okay, so at this point we're at our aminium ion, uh, highly electrophilic, and, and now we're in a position to have the cyanide group add to the aminium ion, and this is then going to give us our, uh, basically our uh, alpha amino nitrile, alpha amino nitrile. OK, 
Okay, so that's our product. Uh, and, and so there's really, there's nothing different here than everything else we've been talking about. You're, you're simply doing uh, an aminium ion forming mechanism and then the nucleophile, in this case, we don't stop at the aminium ion, we're, we're adding and we're just simply adding uh, cyanide, okay? And that gets us to the, the alpha amino uh, nitrile. Okay, and then of course you're going to hydrolyze to get to the to the amino acid, uh, which is usually the the desired uh, end product. We're not going to talk about the mechanism of hydrolysis of nitriles. That'll come in the next unit. We're, we we will get into that. You don't have to worry about it now. Uh, so cyanohydrins, uh, Strecker amino acid synthesis, uh, two um, very straightforward uh, uses of cyanide as a nucleophile.